Hope you brought your own rug. That hardwood's going to be a real pain later on. Don't get too comfortable, though. Still need a blade ready for when the road gets rough. step of the kingdom, yet the gods ordain that we stumble across trouble now? What a farce. Over there, the man's gasping for life. I'm not going any further until you find out what's going on. Hey now, I'm just a merchant. I try to avoid spilled blood. And besides, what else am I paying you for? Evermore's renowned most of all for its colourful cast of characters and deviants. You'll run the gamut of Britonic experience in that cluster of man. First settlement you'll come across, considering you stay the course once you depart from Hawaii, is the Divide, a hulking bridge jutting out from its watery locale. Standing atop that stony giant, it'll grant you a vista of the reaches mires and towns, most notably Arnhemar, and if you squint hard enough, evermore itself. Yeah, <laughs> semantics, eh? <clears throat> evermore is the city and the kingdom. The city itself beats as the heart and centre of our royal affairs. The place where the Reach consolidates its authority and... Well, Reach... ...for the East. It used to be a backwater not too long ago. The Eastern Hinterland Kingdom. Yet recent times have spoiled the city with inordinate wealth and power. Power that they've used to conquer and subjugate their comparatively less civilised neighbours. Now, any Breton dwelling east of the city's walls sports their banner. You'll see it on your arrival. Nothing pleasant, I assure you. Most outside their miserable sty consider it to be a stain on the kingdom, with good reason. Most of the guards are nothing but thugs looking to shake down us humble merchants when given the chance, and they routinely terrorise those unfortunate sods that they have to leave. All governed by that strange character, Mortifane. Lord Mortifane, to be correct. Never call a lord by his name. Her tales of sordid acts and strange punishment disseminated upon those beneath him, who weren't wise enough to escape. Most of these tales smacked of madness. Most are simply ignored because they're hard to imagine happening. Any simple methods. I never risked finding out for myself. It dampers the mood. Which isn't good when you're travelling on your lonesome. Ugh, that reminds me. I actually have to pass by that decaying dump. Got a client right within their walls. Hopefully the guards are knock out drunk, as usual. They're meanest when they're sober. Well. Previous ventures haven't seen much spilled blood, save for a passenger getting weary with another. Though my route is one of the safer paths of travel. I have to pick up the pace through certain stretches, and bandits and the like springing traps from above on any uncaring traveller making their way to the province. 
Once we reach the easternmost part of Evermore, then we should be safe. But the guard there meeting out justice with an iron fist. Scoundrels should stay well clear. Yeah. Most of the time, anyway. Well, I don't want to startle you, as I do need an extra blade. But we've got a problem with the savages north of Evermore. They like to call them witchmen. I'm not sure if that's what the savages call themselves, but we'll stick with it. You see, rumours are stirring that these witchmen are getting agitated. Sporadic attacks all across the kingdom made the wilds near impossible to dwell in because of their savagery. But that's a problem you'll have to deal with once you reach the kingdom, not on your way there. So don't fret about the journey itself. It'll be fine. And, um, was Don't there something you wanted? You this wagon halfway to the horizon when you hear those screams. Have to protect my interests. What's on your mind? Come to talk. Is it me or are the priests in Skyrim all perverts? I said I had injured my leg. <laughs> One of them told me to remove my clothes. So he could use his healing hands on me. Those witchmen in the tower. They ambushed us when we were changing shifts. Ah. Won the divide. Get them to send men, please. Safe journeys. No, friend. Not Forsworn. Witch men. Thought I told you about these devils already? Trust me, these aren't the type you want to be ignorant about. If you treat them like you would any common scoundrel ending for your coin purse, then the next sight you'll be seeing is that of your gods. Bastards coat their blades and arrows with this vile poison. A resin so foul it can condemn giants to an agonizing death with nary a brush. Not sure how you came out of that alive, to be honest. Tough. Really? That's hard to believe. These scum are a whole new low for the Reachmen. Carving up man, woman, child, and babe alike in their hideous rituals. Sadistic. 
play with the bodies they harvest, hoist them in that dense woodland north. Foul. Simply foul. Spoiled my mood. At least you've made it back. I was about to do one. They just spent any longer up there. You shouldn't. The divide is within spinning distance. If you keep to the road, you should arrive there without harm. Unless you take a detour, that is. That's where my almighty prescience ends and the uncertainty begins. And as we know, ignorance pays. My clients are probably waiting with bated breath, taking long enough to get here already. I'll need to skip on any indulgences on that bridge and head straight to Arnima. However, uh, you should speak with the governor up there, Morosa. Frumpy little woman, but don't tell her I said that. She'll normally be within the temple, sparing a prayer for our mutual mother. Safe journeys. seen you up here before. What's your business? Which one? Mara. I thought they would get this close. Okay. You can go through to Morosa. Tell it everything. It's such a rich. <laughs> 